Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. Welcome, Raw. Let's chat a little bit. We'll give special thanks, I think, uh, probably in the next video. Today's not going to be a very long video. Do we reach the heights of the pillars again? I hope not. Those, those dungeons were awful. I hated all of them. All of them. Even the escape sequence was terrible. That went on way too long. I, I've never seen an escape sequence take more than 10 minutes. <laughs> like, is it really an escape sequence at that point? I don't know. I don't think, I don't think they quite got the tension of the moment down. But yeah, so small, small aside, we're going to be playing on a different version of BizHawk because I kid you not, they, they forgot to add disc swapping in one of the versions of BizHawk and that was the one I downloaded. So that was awkward. So I had to go port everything over to a new version. So we're gonna give it a shot. Hopefully it's compatible. I'm not really sure why they forgot to do that because it was in every other version. But whatever. Yeah, definitely seventh moon logic. We're gonna pause the, the songs for now. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into, I guess the game, hopefully. So yeah, I had to redo basically everything to get this thing to load. It was very annoying. So we're off to a not great start. <laughs> I I'm kind of surprised, especially with all like the Final Fantasy fans, that they let that slide. Oh, I have to set up another memory card for the future. Well. Fortunately, right now, I fixed one memory card. Second memory card, whatever. We'll worry about that another time. I'm assuming it's going to play a new video. I, I think it's a new video. There we go, chat. New video. That did not look familiar to me. Udon is confused too. I guess they have a disc one autoplay video and a disc two autoplay video. I'm assuming the wolf is Lucide from the first game. And I guess that was Villain's villain arc confirmed. Because he's dramatically looking out the window in the rain. Compsis? I... <laughs> I... I have forgotten chat name this character. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. We, we did do this, quote unquote. The Rob says the opening isn't represented the game. No vomit inducing floors and spinning. That's true. Here again today too. I wonder if I could reach Bashley from here. 
don't worry, you will. However far away someone is, the strength of your feelings will draw them closer. Ugh. <laughs> Gross. You're strong for believing such a thing, Ecomsis. I don't know if I call that strong, but okay. Is there someone you are missing? Maybe I can't believe, but I want to, de to desperately. And even when we're close, he feels far away. Is this doing any good? You can hear me somehow, can't you? Come back to me soon, Ashley. Hey, Dwight. Hopefully everybody's doing well. We're still floating in space, I think, according to the previous session. Um... Well, this is new. I'm alive. I'm... Where am I? This isn't Phil Gaia. It's not a rational deduction, but I'm certain this isn't Phil Gaia. Where am I? A girl seen before, okay. That's right. This isn't the world you were in before. Aren't you? That's right, it's not the first time we met. When I got the Argotlam and the light, we... It's the same feeling of protection I got when the Heimdall Gazo exploded. <laughs> Are we in the hallway between universes from Tear Chris? I, mean, I think so. I'm certain of it. See, he, he agrees. That sensation was the same as the vibrations I get from you now. Please tell me, who are you? Anastasia. Oh no. In your era, I guess Sword Magus is the name most well known. So, you're the Sword Magus. <laughs> I've always hoped we had a chance to talk, Bashley Winchester. I know, we don't get to name her, F minus. Off to a rough start. I've always been watching you. Oh, what a creep. You've been watching me? Yes. Always. There were moments where... <laughs> wow. I read the line before I spoke the line out loud. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta compose myself for this line. There were moments when you were a bit pathetic, but then you do something very bold and brave. Damn, getting hard burned by ghost spirit. But with her, with cliché, you weren't terribly brave or forthcoming. I don't really like cliché. <laughs> um, cliché is actually... Well, well, you're blushing. How sweet. Makes a big sister want to take you in her arms and take care of you. Uh... I would dot 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 that too, Vashley. <laughs> I'm like, can we get to the point? What? You're not mad, are you? Sorry, didn't mean to hassle you. No, I I'm not mad. But it's, um... Well, unexpected. The image I had of the sword mages was, well, a little different. That's so selfish. You think it's okay to just force your will on everyone? What? <laughs> I'm with Ashley on that one. What? Bleton is like, what happened? Wait, what? What do you mean he's. What? I feel like that's a translation issue. I'm assuming it was supposed to be something along the lines of, like, you can't force your image of me onto me. I'm assuming is what it was supposed to be saying, but that's not how that translated. That like, was kind of confusing. I had to think about that for a moment. Disappointed. Well, this is the real me. Okay, so yeah, I think that was just a translation issue. Even your older sister thinks about guys sometimes. What? Before I was the sword mages, I was just a girl called Anastasia. I can't help it. Yeah. Wanna go home? You wanna go to Phil Guy? To the world where cliche is waiting for you. Just as I suspected, this isn't Phil Guy. Yes. The world of the living is this side, and the world of the... Dead is the other side, and this is the interval, the boundary between both places. I I'm still convinced this is the hallway in Tyrkreus, especially off of what she's saying here. Welcome to the world where Anastasia is. Boy, chat, we're in limbo. 
here. Memories from when I lived in Filgaia remain. It's a ruin of memories. I might be able to make contact with Filgaia from here. You can imagine Filgaia intensely, then. She's got Mia energy a little bit. Assuming that's Lucide. This is Lucide, the guardian of desire. Damn, chat, the call out. See, I remembered Wild Arms lore. I did it. Guardian Lucide was, if I recall. Yeah, I didn't want to comment on it being memory maze. I'm not looking forward to that. Right, the guardian is the mind of the former ruler. There's no reason it be accompanied by a body. But this one is flesh and blood. It has enough strength to maintain a body. With that power, they've always protected me. I'll get Lom and the Guardian Desired Lucid. This is the power that has supported the Sword Mages. From here on is the space created from my memory. Memories are matter from the past. Everything is from the conscious world. Existence equals reality. <laughs> I, I like the unabashed quadruple question marks to that comment. Sure. If you go, you'll understand. What happened here will be remembered as reality by my memory time axis. Oh dear indeed, Budana. Budana's on point today. Oh, is he just in our party? Oh damn, we straight up have Lucid. Wolf Fang, final attack of the werewolf. Black Dash, and power damages all enemies. We also have her temporarily. So she is weaker than us and slower than us. That is so awkward. Swords have normal statuses and heals, ups defense. characters from falling? Do they mean KO? Impulse. Sword attack with power of friends. Okay, and then I get a healing ability. Um. Oh, I, I, I was looking to see if I could remove gear. Can you imagine? I could give her items, but I'm probably never going to see them back if I do that. Well, I guess we're here now, chat. Do they have tools? Okay, they don't. That makes life a little simpler. Um. Young girl's voice heard somewhere. What is it? Who are you? It's dangerous here. It's in your best interest to leave as soon as possible. No. This one is the same as us. They're taking on the burden to fight. Oh, so you're a friend of Anastasia? A bit narrow-minded, I'd say. Are they really reliable? Hmm. Guess it'll be okay, as long as you don't hold Anastasia back. Kid is. That kid is a friend who fought alongside me in another time. Through my memory, you've experienced the past. This isn't a dream. As proof, this chance meeting was perceived in the past as reality itself. So I'm assuming that was Goblin. 
sadly we won't be entering any wolf belts to go back to the witch outset earlier. Oh, the instant ambush. This is an Etten, apparently. Boom. That works. Oh, of course. I mean, if this is the extent of the maze, it's not bad so far. I guess the zoomies. Something like that. Are there any hidden items anywhere? Should probably use this. Okay. Oh, things escalated quickly. The battle about to be introduced is the blaze of disaster. Yeah, it's not just a story. It's a battle that actually happened. Ludana confused as usual. Bashley dot dot dots. A sad sensation. It's not the first time I've felt this before. It's part of that other me, isn't it? That's it, right? I sacrificed myself to trap the blaze of disaster. That which is within you now is Lord Blazer, the blazing demon who once tried to consume the world. thinking of raw briefly with the what is it the flame hyena or whatever it's gonna start sh shouting like burn board burn to the ground <laughs> my powers these cursed powers of destruction are the blaze of disaster itself the power itself is neither good nor evil oh no we're going with this again it depends on the will of the powers users Right now, the power within you may just be necessary for my beloved Phil Gaia. <clears throat> Let's go before it's all too late. Should I bother getting into fights here? Oh boy, it's... Oh. Yeah, let's get into fights. It's probably one of these one-off dungeons. We've seen three different enemies so far. A boar and an imp. Interesting. Two blades of disaster for good and for evil, exactly. The one shots are real. You love the boar. A nice little zoom in of him. Okay, we're getting a little bit of money back. Anastasia back, are you? Oh, come on. I'm not gonna use your power. The sword mage is a crimson noble in me. Blazers! This person's power is Lord Blazer himself. What? What did you just say now? Inside this person, in his interior space, dwells the Lord Blazer. And you seek revenge on someone from Philgaia? Get away from Anastasia right now! This person is the future Lord Blazer, not the one of our time. He's not an enemy. Please, understand. Dot dot dot. Anastasia says so. Then... Okay. 
Okay. Oh. I didn't see that right away. That's unfortunate. I feel like I'm just being trolled by camera angles. Like, it's not difficult. It's just I can't see the things. Just classic complaints with the game. I 100% liked it more when it was like 2.5D for sure. Hopefully they kind of work out the kinks with the camera so I can actually see what it wants me to look at without getting horribly confused rotating the camera over and over. I do think this game would have benefited from a very tiny mini-map to have an idea of uh, where I came from. Yeah, like, if you see this chat, like, you don't even see the thing I have to hit unless you're, like, over here. You see what I mean? Like, the pillar blocks the view of the thing you're supposed to hit, and even then you have to get pretty close. So. It's one of those things where it's not, like, the dungeon is not inherently bad, but the camera makes it a lot more annoying than it should be. I'm like paranoid that there's like other barriers I don't see. Oh well. We're making it through, I guess. Deeper we go. Having fake cameras was the cool thing at the time. Unfortunately. I don't know why I was able to hold the Argat Lam in my hands. I was just an ordinary girl who until then believed sword training was dumb. Never had a sword. But in reality, you fought and beat Lord Blazer. I went all out. But it wasn't because I wanted to win. It was because I didn't want to lose the people I loved. Besides, I personally hate death. I really didn't want to die. Well, that disqualifies you as a magus. Rather than worrying about the world, I was thinking of myself and my family. Those thoughts might be similar to mine. There are no special qualifications necessary to get the Argat Lam. As I have the blood of the v Valeria family doesn't make me a hero. Was anyone else in my family able to get a hold of the Argat Lam? I was going to say, pretty sure most people don't like dying, yeah? There's no significance in the blood of the Valeria family. Ashley dot dot dots. Just now, you said, my family. You said there's no significance that I'm a blood relative of the Valeria family. Back into Villain. Why? Why do you reject me, Argat Lam? I am the true descendant of the Sword Magus. I am a Valeria. Whoa. Whoa, chat. Just another dream about that time. Why do I have to keep having these nightmares over and over again? I know, if only used the power of friendship. There's a compsis. Villain! Villain, is something wrong, Villain? Villain, I heard a noise. Is anything wrong? 
I heard a loud voice. Elaine. I don't understand. Why does everyone obsess about heroes? Heroes are merely sacrifices made to confront absolute danger. A sacrificial offering. Cliché said the same thing to me. Damn. Failed the 50-50. I'm not seeing any more enemy types, so we'll skip for now. And immediately can't skip. Damn. Eventually, we'll see how much damage Impulse does, maybe. Or where? She's up there. How do I reach her? Hmm. Oh, of course. Of course. Well, why would I think otherwise? Of course there's the switch I can't see due to the camera, right chat? What else would it be? Oh my gosh, is retreating actually working? No, never mind. Damn, the time save would have been there. I like that in Wild Arms, escape percentages are so terrible. I just don't even bother, like 80% of the game. Just never work. Bonk. family was burnt to death because of him. I'm alone. All alone. Even though I'm alone, I plan to protect Philgaia. I too am someone who likes Philgaia very much. You're not alone. Let's fight together. Right, chat? Uh, of course, that's for this. At least it feels like we're nearing the end. That's something to look forward to, I guess. You know what? Let's actually see what this does. Wolf attack. He turns into a little ball. Oh. Uh... 
that just hit 6,000? Why? Dog is still the better fighter. Honestly, the dog going first kind of matters more. Being slow in this game is a big detriment. The strong as she is, I don't prefer her for normal encounters. What's her health looking like? Okay, pretty much back to full. What's different about me is that I didn't give in to the despair. Despair? Right. Everyone feels it with the blaze of disaster. Even though Lord Blazer killed all hope, I never lost the desire to live. Hmm. I mean, I still wanted to eat lots of good food and have fun with my friends. I didn't want to let go of life so easily. That's what was special. I think my power was from desire. I don't really remember my first encounter with Lucine. Eventually, he was always by my side, but soon he became a presence I couldn't do without. That's Lucide for you. A long time ago, he told me that it was my willpower that gave Lucide his power. I think desire is simply the power of the will to live. Power is neither good nor bad. Never deny it just because it's full of desire. What saved Philgaia from the blaze of disaster was desire. Truth is, what I've been told all along and what I had imagined is not the total truth. I am the Sword Magus. Is not a hero only by convenience. She is a sacrificial offering to this era. Her decorated body is a good camouflage. If that's not done, those who survive cannot feel good about the sacrifice. That's what it means to obtain obsess excessive power. This is applicable to you now, too. And yet, you still want to go back to Phil Gaia? Yes. You say that with no hesitation. Ugh, I give up. Okay, you win. Okay, I'll go. Soon my memory will be interrupted. Hmm. Oops. Down the pit we go. Oh, I couldn't walk there. I was being trolled makes sense now. He got me with the invisible wall trick, John. Ah, oh, this time I saw it because I had the camera diagonal. This time the camera is actually somewhat reasonable for this area. Chan, I have an honest question. For this dungeon design, why? not even allowed to be hit. It's critical. We'll do a lot of damage. Well, at least we have money in case I want to upgrade an arm. I guess, technically. Should be getting close to 100,000 again, right? Or did we pass that? We passed it a little bit. Anastasia risked her life to trap Lord Blazer. Trapped. That's all. He was not destroyed. He's just trapped beyond the event horizon. Our powers aren't strong enough to destroy him now. If not today, maybe tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then another day. Tomorrow we will be stronger than we were yesterday, so... 
What has been trapped will one day be released. Let's fight together. That's what you said. Can your word be trusted? Of course. Then it's a promise. When the Lord Blazer's powers once again begin to destroy Filgaia, we'll fight together to destroy and vanquish him from Filgaia completely. I'm so relieved to hear that. The lives of the immortal Crimson Nobles are eternal. Till you and I meet again, we'll have to take a break. Man, imagine we recruit her at, like, just before the final du game, seriously. Just before the final dungeon. And she's gonna have no skills. Is she even gonna be worth using at this point? We're at the intro of this, uh, disc. We still don't have her in the party. Crazy. My memory goes no further. It becomes a world of emptiness. But if you imagine, with all your powers into the Filgaia you wish to return to, the road will appear. Filgaia, I will return to. The world I'm in, it's... No more dog party member chat. We're truly in the dark times of Wild Arms too. It's very faint, but there's no mistaking it. It's the empathite pattern from Bashley's communicator. Can you calculate its position? It's hard to say. The signal is so faint we ordinarily wouldn't even receive it. It will take time. Also, the full guy in the state it's in. Please, do your best. I will gather the arms members now. Understood. I will try too. So honored you got to be here for dog. Yeah, that was the shortest live party member, sadly. That is all we know at the moment. In other words, Bashley might still be alive. Yes. I don't mean to ruin the mood, but if the signal is so faint we can't ro locate its source, how will we conduct a rescue? You are correct. We don't have an exact point yet, but we do know the general area. We have no other choice. This is the... Sword Cathedral. The coordinates are correct, but the axes are wrong. It could be connected... It could be a connected parallel universe. But how? <laughs> but how indeed. If the axes are wrong, we need to link from this side. Do you know how to do that, Vicky too? I think so. I hear Selge is a, has a magical artifact for generating a space-time gate. Oh, that's convenient, I guess. Oh no, chat, we're bringing back the Millennium Puzzle? Oh man, we're going full Yu-Gi-Oh now, chat. Do you mean the Millennium Puzzle? So you'll do it. But... Vicky 2, we need your magic. Only a Crest Sorceress can control the gate, and we only have you. All right. The rescue operation will commence today at 1400 hours. Oh, chat, you know this- You know this is gonna be a heinous puzzle dungeon. You, you know this is just gonna make me really upset. You know, like, Rob was already clowning on the beginning of this game with the very long puzzle. You know it's gonna be so much worse now. Like, we- we- like, the- the, the simple puzzles are now gonna be mixed with terrible garbage. <laughs> If the, if the Diablo Pillars are anything to go by. We're going to rescue Bashley Winchester. What are the chances of our success? So low, I don't want to tell you the number, but not zero. We need a Dark Magician, you're all you have to do, that's true. It's that low. Even if the chances were 1%, it still wouldn't be zero. Yes, that's how numbers work, Thesaurus. What is the distance between zero and the number you're thinking of? Don't worry about it. The important thing is don't give up. Wait, did he just... Did, did he just ask a question and then answer his own dialogue? What? Yes, you're correct. Thank you. 
Translation, please. <laughs> it's okay to pose a question as like a rhetorical, but he shouldn't answer said question. Oh, uh, indeed, Blue Donna. Millennium Puzzle, open the gate. Get in the cube, chat. Start with the Millennium Puzzle- Oh, start the Millennium Puzzle with the Switch Blocks. About 1,500 NPCs to Bashley's Salvage Point. I don't think NPCs. Not this song, says Rob. Yeah, exactly. All five Switch Blocks respond. You can tune the coordinates. Link to the other world. Start the large Switch Block, the big generator. Once you're done tuning, the puzzle's face will lose its structure and become unstable. That's why there's only a few chances to start the generator. A few minutes, a few seconds, everything's up to me. Gotta get it together. I must trust my magic powers. Well, as much as the game wants Vicky 2 to be an important character, uh, you could go out of our party again. <laughs> right, John? <laughs> Silly game. You gave me three other characters. Why would I use Vicky 2? There's the gate we gotta go through eventually. Hmm. I guess I'll start with the bottom. Alright, so let's just say red is up for now. So I have like some semblance of where I'm going relative to other things. What? Do I even need to do this? Oh, there's two warps. Oh, never mind, there's three warps. Let's see. Oh boy. We're gonna be here for a while, chat. Camera angle, please. Oh, it's not gonna reset the room. I gotta do this every time. This is horrible. Why wouldn't they just reset the puzzle if this happens? We're gonna be here a while. I gotta sit through like a cinematic every time I hit a switch. Jeez, there's gonna. You know I'm gonna be hitting like 50 more of these. What a waste of time. Oh, it was the other one. I second guessed myself. I was thinking it looked a little different, but I'm like, the other one's also a similar color. Huh. So we did all this to do what exactly? At least there's no battles. I don't know which way I want to go yet. I guess I'll try left first. Oh, do I just have to loop her? Oh, never mind. I was thinking there was a platform I didn't see off screen to the north. Never mind. It's overthinking it. What the heck is this? Did I have to hit the other switch before? Are you serious? Did I have to hit the other switch in the middle? Let's 
if I could get a good angle of this from here. So annoying. This should have been the anime opening. Yeah, it's just like it's it's not really challenging. Just feels like a big time waster. I think that's my problem with puzzles. I just don't enjoy them. So inherently, any time where the game comes to like a dead stop because I have to do a puzzle, it's just really tedious. Okay, finally. Jeez. I was getting worried we were not anywhere near it. We're one-fifth of the way done with the dungeon. Holy. Okay, moving blocks. Is there anything I have to do over here? Okay, no switches I have to hit. It's just walk across them. There's a counter? No! 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 Oh, you know we have to kill these Necronomicon things. You know they're gonna be dropping some broken stuff. You know they are. Man. Alright, which character has the steal ability? I don't even remember. This. Do you have the steal ability? No. You have the steal ability? No. Alright, give me a minute. Let's give it to her. Let's give her pickpocket. I'm hoping this has like the ultra broken. What's it called? Uh, tune up. To no one's surprise, Pickpocket failed. We could check in the BC area afterwards, but I'm assuming that it'll show up. We want to kill at least one creature. Oh, that's a monster design. The fact that we're outspeeding with everybody is hilarious. And actually, I could kill one of these books. That's fine. Oh, you just have Mega Berries? Whatever, I don't care then. Yeah, we'll go back to our other abilities. Strength up is important for our character. So pickpocket, whack. Alright, it's turning into garbage, something like that. Look at Thesaurus' health total, 5,000, jeez. Yeah, crit that book. Take that knowledge. We don't need you. Alright, let's switch her back to something useful. All she cares about is strength, honestly. Let's check the BC area out just to make sure. I already forgot its name though. It should be yellow because we haven't seen it before. Guess I could also check these to make sure we're not missing, any missing anything. Hmm. Where drops mega berries and mini carrots? Bleepus is pinwheel. If there's any tiles, oh, there's there, there's Draldo. Etten had healing items, which I don't care about. I'm just making sure we didn't li miss anything of interest. We got the shock room before.
Well, so far, most of these items are terrible. We only had the one enemy that had an interesting drop, which was the Monster Isle. He drops a spoon for some reason. Bullet load. Okay, that's actually pretty good. There you go. I'll zoom it in for Rob. Look at little happy models. Look at them. They're just posing. There you go. You can see the BC area yard. Most of these don't matter. I'm not seeing any interesting items missed. Also, there's a million monsters in this bestiary, by the way. Can we talk about how we're only at 144 somehow? Lamelier. We got that earlier. Yeah, this is the thing that we want. I think it was in Monster Isle. Or it was in the area for it. Stone Castle. Hmm. Not seeing anything interesting still, sadly. No bug, nothing interesting. Prism. Good Lancer, Targum, Honey Gem, multiple Trasks. I didn't see anything of interest in there. Looking for one more thing. But he has a spoon for some reason. Okay. Uh, do I even need to take to the teleporter? I think I do, right? There we go, we got through it. Bob loving them drawing it all. We got more movement puzzles. chat. I'm living on the edge. I'm not waiting for that platform. We got other things to do. I'm too afraid to dash because there's no walls to bunk off of. Let's take my time here. We can do this. That's fine. I hope I don't have to remember the colors of those pillars in the middle, by the way. I'm gonna feel really sad if we do. That was actually not that bad. It wasn't- it wasn't fun, but it was much better than the first one. I found a save point. Okay. I guess they assume this would be the halfway point for the most part for players. Rip the memory card in the middle, though. Is that a monolith? I didn't hear the monolith helmet. Oh. oh no, I had to write down how- oh man, I didn't write down how many of these were. Yeah, I think my audio previews busted again. I hate that. Let's see if I can pick. really don't. I hate that this puzzle has, like, annoying things I have to arbitrarily write down. Can I just bullshit my way through this? Do I actually need to do any of this? You know what, chat? Screw this. We're gonna bullshit our way through. <laughs> I'm gonna give it one shot. Or do one... Well, I think this was four. That's four, right? One, two, three, four. Now the question is, if everything is used once, is red one or is red three? Let's 
find out, I guess. Yeah, screw your other puzzles. <laughs> I'm not finding the solution. Get out of here. Get out of here. I know how you work now. I'm doing your other puzzles. Good. I'm not coming back. We had a we had about a 50-50. I had assumed it was just gonna use every number. Good. I don't have to do that again. Well, that was officially the easiest one. See, that's where it's important to recognize patterns. I mean, I guess it could have had five. If it had five in there at any point, that would have been kind of sad. Please. I guess this is another pick a path. I guess I should probably not skip encounters here. I'm probably not going to be able to come back here if I want the bestiary filled out. Oh. What? These aren't in sync. What are you... What? Huh? There's nothing to hit that these aren't in sync. Are you kidding me? I guess I just go back, because I can't do anything about that. Cool. Two moments was a star of destiny, maybe. Oh, that was a pointless room. That was unfortunate, the encounter time when I was trying to do something else. So, glad that that path was literally just a waste of time. Not even like a treasure chest or anything to deal with over there. It's just like, here's two platforms out of sync. Get wrecked. Wait, we're on the other side of this room? What? Okay, which one's the real path then? Is it, the, is it the only one I didn't take? The far left? Somewhat promising. <sighs> really? What what do you want me to do, game? There's nothing for me to hit. Nothing is lined up with me. I can't shoot this thing. How is this like a dead end? I don't understand. I am so lost, Chad. I mean, I could drop down there, I guess. I don't know which one I'm supposed to have come from, but I could just pick one arbitrarily. Oh, this is where this linked? Oh, okay. At least I know where that is. So there's one other warp I know to take, and it was the room we just came from. Um... the lawnmower on them and then just do regular attacks. We're so close to being able to just napalm them constantly, which is going to be amazing. Yeah, she does like the bare minimum to kill, but more importantly, she goes fast. Yeah, so we completely outspeed the enemy. That's exactly what I want to do. I don't want to give them a turn. Goodbye, hand starfish thing. Rip starfish. So now we're kind of going into the heinous puzzle part, where we have several dwarfs that don't seem to go anywhere. There's one. Where's the other one that I didn't take? We'll find out, I guess. So I still miss the diagonal one. You see what I mean? Like, wait a minute. <laughs> was there something I was supposed to be able to do in there without dropping down? Uh, but none of these went anywhere. Was I supposed to be able to do something in this room? Is 
this didn't line up. Yeah, I can't really jump with her. Like, nothing to hit that I see. Huh. <laughs> right, chat? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. The other path I couldn't do anything. I'm just gonna look at the other path one more time, and then I'm gonna go to the far left again. I hope those were not supposed to be des- or I hope it doesn't matter if it was desynced. I could go that way, which I don't think matters. There's one other warp I could take, and I can get to it by going this way. Though it's possible there's one more place I could go to. When I'm here, I never took the warp that was here. Oh, you did, why didn't you just walk? Why didn't you just walk? Why did you do- Really? Stupid. Uh, we haven't been here before. Hopefully this is the other warp that I need. So, it just put me in the same room where I can't do anything. Am I supposed to be able to hit that box with something? I is do I have to use Puka or something? Is that why I'm like not figuring this out? No. There's like nothing to wire hook on. I don't think Freeze does anything. Um, I don't know what the game wants. I mean, this looks like the other side of the room. It's not something like I could push these, right? Okay, I can't seem to push these. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> hmm. There has there has to be something I'm missing. This doesn't make any sense. Downside is I have to now get out of here. Oh, come on. I didn't hit a button there. I guess just touching it causes you to teleport. Or she's like n refusing to go onto this platform. Game, fle Game come on. Can, can I just walk diagonal? Okay, good. Because <laughs> I'm like, she just refuses to walk on that platform. I don't know what to say on that one. That's not my fault. If she had like any input leniency at all, we would be fine. Alright, so there has to be something I could use. Maybe the freeze rod will do something different. That's the only thing I can think of. Because this is it before. It was weird that everything was out of sync. Is it possible I can hit a platform with it and slow it? We've literally never used it for that purpose, to my knowledge, this entire time. But maybe there was a mechanic I was supposed to learn. Oh my gosh, get out of here. We've never used this mechanic. We have literally never used this mechanic until now. I am convinced we have not frozen a block so far, ever. <sighs> Stupid. Chat can correct me if I'm wrong. I am I am 100% convinced we have never frozen a platform done anything with it like that. 
So I was like not even thinking about it when we were in there. The most we've done is we've frozen an enemy. We froze an enemy before. And that was more optional. Yeah, like the closest we came to doing something like that was the prison. Which was not the puzzle. Okay, the cube is here. Stupid. Alright, let's go up to the door. We can move this, the gate will open. Mickey 2 dot dot dots. Mickey 2? There's no time. Start it immediately. Yes. It's impossible for me to do this after all. Just like that other time. Time. Let's retreat for the time being. It's all right. Next time we'll do better. Dot, dot, dots. Hey, thanks. I'm fine. It's easy. It's not that easy. <laughs> really? Sure, game. Gilgaia should be at the end of the tunnel. There are no road markers en route. Regardless, I must go there. I have to go back home. Is that... the glittering light of the Empathite? Oh, sorry, wrong person speaking. Is that the glittering light of the Empathite? It's a light that cares greatly for you. I'm going to venture forward relying on that light. Let's go together. No. This is the world where I belong. The other world is a place where I no longer can be, so... Really? But I must go. I don't want to be left alone in a place like this. Never wanted to hold the Argent long. I was afraid to fight. I never wanted to be called a holy woman. Not to top for Bashley. I didn't want to die. That's right, I didn't want to die. But I had no choice. In order to save all I loved, I had to fight. I love talking about just nothing with my friends. I was happy just being able to spend time with my mother and father. I even had someone I liked. But only by my giving up everything was I able to save the world. I didn't know how to put it into words, but I knew. I had to die to become a hero. I wouldn't have been able to get rid of the blaze of disaster. Everyone, everyone wanted it. They wanted me to die. I'm not going back to Phil Gaia to become a hero. Then why are you going? My motives aren't that different from yours. Got things important there to me too. Protect what's important. Rather, become a hero as a sacrifice. I'll find another way. I'm sure you'll find another way. Please, find another way. And stop the suffering of the Valeria. I'll be okay now, even if I'm alone. Thanks for everything, Lucid. Now I need you to lend your strength to him. Please stop the suffering of the Valeria family. Oh wait, did we seriously just gain him as a party member? Wait, wait, is that really happening? Chat will never let me pick another character. <laughs> Although if he comes out in Maul's cliche, I would also respect him. My feelings are strong and pure enough. They'll reach you. If you hear me, please answer. Ashley. Got to use him in his two attacks, yeah. The light, the warmth, the smell. So soothing. The smell. It's like he's here right now. He just comes out and punches her in the face. <laughs> Start here again. Oh yeah, you haven't started yet. What? 
<laughs> Chat, I swear, these translations are like little mini riddles. What do you think he's trying to say here? Who is the you? Who, who is he talking to? Then you'll be okay. Everyone's here. I'm gonna do my best because you're here to help fight too. Oh, is he talking to the stained glass? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Maybe he's talking to the sword mages through the stained glass. <laughs> she just got cursed out. There's no way that was like that in the original Japanese. Hey, no sleeping on the job! Oh, by Gargle Wagalaba. Wake up! Give you the other me inside my house, so. Accurate. Actually accurate. Code 618. Not so early in the morning. Assemble all members immediately. They're asleep. Slap them awake. I'm guessing this is like a sleeping disease or something. I don't know. I guess we'll see. The empathite pulse from his communicator is strengthening. We finished transmitting to all countries. There's a temporary freeze at all use of empathite. There'll be no interfering signals now. Only 0.764 points until empathite pulse reaches critical level. If we receive a signal over that level, we can locate its source and begin the rescue. Chief. Is it true? Is it true that Bashley's coming back? You've gone and come back with something evil. It had to be this way. I and no one else will hunt you. Glad she missed us, Jan. Quickly, I have to tell them now! Lots of dramatic camera movement, chat. He's late. He said he'd be right back, but he's late without calling again. I'll listen to any excuse. Bashley. And after making all those promises, he's still like this. Where were you until now? What in the world were you doing? Always, always. Don't be silent. Say something. Is she answering herself again? Like, there's no- Chad, there's no way. There is no way. This is- There's just- She's- She asked the question. It never switched to who's talking. It's definitely her talking again. Because it would have given us a different box. So pick one. They either forgot to say Bashley saying this. Or whatever. I, I guess I'll do this in her voice, because it never tr transferred it. Yes, but it's different. That's not what I wanted to ask you. What I really want to know is... <laughs> Cliche's losing her mind, I think so. Right now. Yes, welcome home. I feel like some of that's a translation issue. Like, maybe she's supposed to have been struggling what to find the right words to say to him, but it just comes off as, like, absolute lunacy. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, hello says, oh, here you are. Hey, listen. Ashley is... Where is this? I already know. We came here to tell Cliché. Dot, 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 dot. Were you crying? Why are you looking like that? Thank you, dot, thank you too, dot, dot, dots. Ashley's coming home. Aren't, aren't you happy? Of course I'm happy. How can I not be happy? I'm happy, happy. I'm very happy and... Just a little bit lonely.
It looks like everyone's here. Thanks to each and every one of you ARMS members. Each and every one. That's interesting. We are all safely together again. You've truly done well. With the destruction of Odessa and the rescue of Bashley, our strategy against Odessa is over. Thus, I have a new mission for ARMS to complete. Imagine if this game had bad voice acting just that just compounded the awkward dialogue. Uh, maybe we'll play Star Ocean 2. <laughs> that, the voice acting in that game is, um, hmm. It's something. Oh yes, Villain. What happened with Fogaya when I was gone? What is the significance of this? The situation is actually just as bad as while you were lost. I think it's been slowly happening for a long time now without us realizing it. For a long time. Yes, I think so. While we were concentrating solely on Odessa, Okai has been slowly eaten away. The symptoms were first seen in the changes of life forms. First, normal plants and animals started decreasing. Then monsters began to take over. Oh my gosh, this is Terra Enigma. This has never happened until now. At first, we thought the decrease in normal plants and animals came with the increase in monsters. But we don't know where the monster plants are coming from. That's a big question. We blindly assumed it was the work of Odessa, but... As Vincefeld said, the increase in monsters does not seem to be the work of Odessa. That he would have lied under those conditions. Which means... That a terrible disaster is descending upon Filgaia. Began with a sighting from the astronomical observ- Astronomical? Why astronomical observatory? Not astronomy or something? Whatever. Astronomical observatory in Selge. Well, I know how to get to that. We have to go back there. Gaia's deterioration wasn't limited to just the ecosystem. Early on, a once small stain fell to the sky and instantly eroded the earth. The ocean lost its glimmer, the land its vitality, and eventually... The sky was swallowed. It's the phenomena of Filgaia no longer being Filgaia. We call this the Stain Paradigm. The principles of what makes Filgaia Filgaia have been altered. At this rate, everything will be stained. Eventually, we too will be devoured. The next mission is to investigate and stop Filgaia's stain paradigm. Okay. The situation seems stable for now, but who knows what's next? the sky to have been devoured. This follows what the chief of Baskar village told us of his dream. Maybe it meant this. Hmm. Yes, I think you're right. Maybe a guardian would have sent something of this scale concerning all of Filgaia. All right then, let's go to Baskar village. Maybe we'll find a clue. Elaine, heard from Anastasia in the, in the Between World that you are a descendant of the Sword Mages. I didn't mean to hide it, I just never had time to bring it up. Dot 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 from Bashley. One more thing. The other self inside of me is Lord Blazer, the demon called the Blaze of Disaster. A descendant of the Magus and the embodiment of the Blaze of Disaster. In other words, we are enemies. You're honest about it, at least. You're probably right. Maybe I should get out of arms? I don't want to end up hurting anybody with this power. Most common phrase under the JRPG says Rob about the didn't mean to hide it. Yeah, you're kind of, kind of on point with that one. By now, we need all the firepower we can muster. And even if Lord Blazer's power... Oh, and even Lord Blazer's power can help fill Gaia. I expect you to use it so. Also... Also what? 
You took me on for just such an emergency, right? Maybe possessed by the blaze of disaster, but I am a descendant of the sword mages. Will not be shy about exercising that demon if I must. Don't forget it. We're here to help. Don't try to do everything yourself. Depending on your friends is a good idea in battle, you know. We may not be that strong, says hello, the strongest party member. But as one, we can do anything. Let us fight together, Bashley. Everyone. You don't need to worry about Lord Blazer lurking within. I too will look into it myself. Here of ruins called the Grotto of Lords, told records of the wars. Maybe we should visit. Good. You'll meet with the people of Baskar, and also gather information at Lords. I leave the order of operations up to you, but we need that information. Okay. Okay, so let's put our let's put our thinking cap on. Not where I want to go. I wonder if we could get a bonus dungeon by going back to Selge. Because they said they saw something fall from the sky, right? Will that open up a dungeon if I do that? Probably go back to the telescope place. Alright, so let's see what the overworld is like now. That looks fine. Ooh, overworld music change. Just want to verify something real quick. Remember that from last time. Um. Actually, you know what? I'm kind of curious about something too. I don't think I could go straight there, right? Wonder if now that we're in disc two, we could get any abilities from this guy. Wasn't thinking about this originally, but I guess we could stop by here first. Could it be you're here because of my magic? That's right, isn't it? That's right, I've been waiting for a young sorceress like you to come along. I want you to have the extend, a result of all my research. You'll take it, won't you? This increases the magic's power to 1.5 times normal. The sphere of the magic's effect changes as follows. Single enemy to group and group to all. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing, isn't it? Not really a big deal. Hmm. So what I should consider next? Oh, so we could have... Maybe we could have had this earlier? Is she... Oh, never mind. This is still useless. Wait, no. This is still useless. Why did they make that her level 3 ability? Why didn't they make this her level 2? Man... Because, like, I... <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why this is not useful. Her best abilities cost, like, 75. So I'd have to contend with using them consistently... ...or making her single target a group attack. Honestly, Extend probably should have been her basic ability. That would have... that would have... that would have made her a lot more interesting. Honestly, I don't really see any purpose in Mystic so far. And, let, like, the only thing I would use it for at this point might be to... Maybe if we use the card with her, it does more. Otherwise, I'm not that impressed. Yeah, like, she's been lacking AoE this entire time, but uh, it's literally... It's, it's too expensive for me to use it for casual clear, which is her big weakness, so I'm not going to use her until that gets fixed. Let's go back to Selge and go to the telescope, please. I'm pretty sure I remember where it is. There's, like, the little 
elevator thing that we could take to go up. Not this one, there's another one. It's like along the outskirts somewhere. This is it, yeah. Let's see if they have anything to say, because they said something fell from the sky. Peril that is devouring the sky is indeed mysterious. Even more mysterious is that is that villain. He must have known this was going to happen. Hmm. An island southwest of Selge is a giant crater made by a meteor that fell to Earth. Sometimes the sky brings unexpected things like that. Now the sky itself has been devoured, so it's southwest of here. And we're getting a hint as to where a dungeon is. So maybe it would have been unlocked without us doing this, but now we have directions. We briefly visit, and then we immediately leave. Not doing anything else. There's an item we haven't received over here. Also a location we haven't been to over there. Hmm. There's a lot for me to potentially explore on this overworld. By chat, like, hmm. Why didn't you get in the hovercraft? Why did you just rub against it? Alone must fight alone. I mean, they're lost. This just lets me unlock abilities faster. So in a way, this is actually helpful. If this does any damage to me at all, I'd be shocked. One must fight alone, true. Not if we can keep up with him. I mean, is anybody surprised that he's just completely invincible to them? I'm not surprised. Look at this meter gain. Is he gonna kill them before they even have a chance to regroup? That's funny. Perish. Wow. What a god. Oh, we should check to see how many more spell uses he has, because technically we can learn more abilities. And at some point, presumably, we'll get more guardians, which makes him infinitely more useful than, uh, Nikki too, sadly. Oof. 26 more of those, or 6 more with the light ability. I think we're on the light ability, right? Not. Alright, let's, let's keep the light on, and we'll switch to the other one. So there's some kind of location over here. I guess I'll check it out. Unless this is, this is the Lord's place, then I'm gonna ignore it. Damn it, chat. I found the plot. I mean... I wanna, I wanna just touch this place so we visit it, and I don't wanna do the plot. I'm gonna avoid it. Hopefully we can now teleport here, because I've entered it. That's that's all I wanted to do, so hopefully we can teleport here later. We're going to have to remember where this is for later. Yeah, I was happy there was no cutscene. Oh, I wonder if it's at that big island to the south with the skull. Because that was there before, but maybe now I can visit the dungeon that's there. I'm going to try to pick up items if I see them. Nice try, random encounters. Listen.
Because we went to this island before, and I remember commenting that there's nothing for us to do. Yeah, now there's a dungeon there. I check so. There's an item here I can't do anything with, because we don't have free play. I should be able to park on this island somewhere. So at some point we're gonna get free teleport rain. Yeah, th this existed before. I remember searching here and nothing happening. Now this has turned into... Somehow we missed a crater while in a crater. I think our characters are legit blind. So let's go and make some notes. So meteorite crater another one of these. I'm probably gonna forget some of these, I'll be real with you. So, I'll say Skull Head Isle in the South. So, I'm doing my best to take notes, but there's a lot I've probably missed already, sadly. The sea chest of interest up there. Let's at least go for the chest. down the hole. Somehow don't die despite falling that far. Let's try to grab that with Puka. Uh, can I not? Fire Rage acquired. What is Fire Rage? Artifact Element Fire? Okay. Kuku is just being very finicky for some reason. Uh, I could go through the door. I probably want the other item first. Fireball! Yeah, sadly I can't hear the sound effects. Uh, fix it later. Snowflake acquired, okay. Oops, all money, oh no. Thunderclap acquired, okay. I'm assembling elements for something. Oh boy, there's a lot of doors. This is gonna be interesting. It's dark. Need to get up here to get this final element. This is the beginning of the area. But I'm gonna go back that way. So I'm gonna go through the first door, which eventually we probably do. For now, we should explore what we can reach. Uh oh, what is the. Old? Oh no. Pick a hole. I don't wanna play pick a hole. Random switch. Oh, this is turning into quite a dungeon chat. I thought it was going to be simple. We now have to think in 3D. Uh, there's a groan all right, but I don't think it's the one I think it is. Oh, you know what? I probably could have hit the switch with Puka. Actually, wait. I think I could still do it. Can I really not hit it from there? I mean, I'm assuming I'm not supposed to, but it feels like I should have been able to. Like, look how close it is. Let's get, like, a pixel closer. I think that would have worked. Stupid Puka. Forget, can I hit these with anything? Probably kick the switch at some point. I'm not sure how to hit that. Interesting. Yeah, I might have to drop down a hole for it. 
Kind of blows. Well, it's time to play pick a hole, I guess. It's about what I was expecting. This one will be the switch. Okay. Well, I should be able to get the other chest from here. Assuming I got an element, I'm not gonna bother checking. Here, but through here, are any of these worth taking? No, and I think that put me in a bad spot actually. That sucks. Do all these just keep leading to the same room? That's painful. I love investigating. Okay, what happens if I. Oh, there's a chest over here. I'm glad I checked over here. That would have been really awkward for later. There's another door over here. Oh no, this is the one we took earlier in a bunch. Need to worry about that. Uh, what's this hole do? Now I can... Okay, so now I can take the door that was closed before. So I feel like we're missing a couple still. Might be missing one. Let's see. We have fire rage. Oh no! I... Well, we have eight. Maybe that is all of them. I just have to figure out where to do them. Hmm. We have basically everything, I just don't know where to go. Unless there's something I could do over here. Oh, there is. Voice from the stone says, I'm rigged oh bright. Excuse me. Ooh, excuse me. I've come very far. I'm the guardian of the stars. Sound a monolith indeed. Rigged oh bright acquired. Whenever you need me, call. I'll come fly, but don't eat me. Don't eat me. Phrase. Uh, how good are you? Star artifact. I don't know why we collected those other things, by the way. I don't even know what they do. Take a look at Hello's abilities. Do we now have new things to learn? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, chat. Hold on. Hello gets to learn Valkyrie. This this is why is it this on Vicky? Wow, what a cheater. Valkyrie was like the best. <laughs> wow. So let me get this straight. He now has an AoE non-elemental that hits everybody, not just a group. Nibelon Valeski, indeed. So, is that everything? What was the point of collecting these items? I'm assuming they have a purpose at some point, but right now they, we don't know what it is. It's possible maybe I had to do this? Maybe this wasn't optional and I had to come here? We'll go a little bit further. I got some things I gotta do after this. Oh, the come to me divine warriors battle awaits us. Wait, did that... Did that seriously not unlock the teleport there? Seriously? Really gonna make me walk through this area again? It sucks. I'm gonna do this to hopefully cut down on movement between the areas.
And even though I went there, I guess it didn't count for some reason? Weird. Retinal pattern does not match. Entry beyond this point is prohibited. It's her. Retinal pattern, match found. Welcome, you with mage's blood. This is where your sleeping memory will wake. I guess this is just a mini dungeon or something. Just a save point here. We'll see how far we get. I don't imagine I'll go beyond this. I got some things I gotta do closer to one. We go for at least another 30 or 40. Oh, oh, cute. <laughs> cute. <laughs> Wait, what? How am I supposed to get to that switch without touching the lava? How much does that even do to what? You know what? I still am so upset you can't open the chest unless you're at certain angles. Rad blades. Oh my gosh, come on. Rad blades are for Irene's use. Press square to erase damage you receive from the ground and allow rapid motion. Let's use it can I cut change direction. So this is the same thing that the other character had in Wild Arms 1. It's roller blades. But it's rad motion. Rad motion on the rad blade. Totally radical. I, what? I, I have no idea what's going on. I'm just kind of going to rooms. This, this is... Hey, you. Where are you going? Blue Donna is saying, thank goodness no cutscene. Sorry, Blue Donna, you're off on that one. Mother has to work now, so go somewhere else to play, she said. Nothing up ahead. Turn around now. When I get home, my mother was there with some man I didn't know. In my house. Hmm. No place for me. It's impossible. You are... Aisha. Irene, what is this? Sorry, it'll work next time. It'll be fine. I do want to get into a battle at some point, just to see what's here. I'm hoping that they fight us in the near future. If they don't want to trigger it, I'll just move on. Cool. Go down here. I would like to see the encounters eventually. Alright, so they open sequentially, so there's not really a question as to where to go next. I was kind of hoping just to get into some battles, in case there's some interesting items here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the, the barely visible thing off screen, of course. Love's doing that, right, Chow? I think I would have had more fun with movement in this game if you could have rapidly switched between tools. Like, could you imagine if it was like, I'm constantly switching between hook and blade? I think that would have been kind of fun from like a movement standpoint. I think that would get me more involved. 
Because, like, think about, like, when we play games like Mystic Quest. I don't have to, like, pause the menu, select the item, and then close the menu. I just tap a button. So I could kind of just, like, think ahead while I'm approaching it. Mother. Aisha, you must listen now. Regardless of the kind of life you're living, we have the blood of the sword, Magus. Oops, she's coughing. No matter how difficult life gets, forget not blood of sword mages. Descended from the sword mages and related to the Valerius, the Bernadettes are having hard times. If I can provide proof of the blood in me, I can live the life of nobility. She looks like a Final Fantasy character. I'm not sure. I wasn't looking at her too closely. I don't want to know the memory of the self I threw away. If I had the blood of the sword mages in me that awakened that memory, yeah, the mother was a blonde character. I wasn't sure who that looked like. Ashley says, Irene? Don't worry. I'll awaken memories regarding Lord Blazer. Be careful you don't get killed by me then. Yeah, because L2 and R2 don't... Oh, I can pivot in place with R2. Yeah, they could have had L2 do something to just fast cycle. That would have actually been very useful. Hopefully if they do that in the third game. Yeah, you see, like, I'm, I have to hit stuff that I don't even see. The bad camera. Ooh, combat? Yes, please. I just want to see what kind of enemies are here. Um... We're fighting Wise Man, allegedly, but basically Diglett. And Horde Monster is the less cool boyer. Oh. Wait, I thought you said Mother's Sprite. Did she look like a blonde version of Taro? So I think, uh, green hair. I think, uh, I thought you were talking about Irina first. Tara's blonde in some of artworks. Oh, interesting. The only blonde I can think of when I play that game is Celeste. Flesh cells. Actually hit level 33, nice. I don't think I've ever seen the official artwork of the character, then. Yeah, whatever. Oh, so if I just used the skates, I would have fallen in there anyway. Okay. Doesn't really matter. We'll take the damage, because damage from hazards in this game is so low, it just doesn't matter. We're fighting a... Voidra? Also, I love that, yet again, we're not using, like, the intended party. I guess I'll heal up this party. They're the only characters that kind of matter. Kind of. Almost thought I missed it first. That would have been pretty awkward. They're only doing 88 damage to me, that's actually sad. Oh, you're gonna die to Hello's melee? That is shameful. Oh, no. Barely lived. You did it. You didn't die from the shame kill. Alright, so they're in the beast theory now. So if we have to, we'll check them out later. I doubt these guys have anything interesting. Horn Monsters, Mega Berries. Voidra has Mini Carrots, okay. Wise Man has Spoon. Just Spoon, chat.
mean, I'm just gonna walk up the ramps. I don't even care. <laughs> right, chat? Like, I think I know what they were going for, but I just, I just don't care. I'm just gonna walk. Who cares? I feel like swapping tools repeatedly. If I didn't have to swap tools, I would just leave the rollerblades on. She's wah wah wahing, chat. They were killed. They were killed, right? And I survived. I've exercised the monsters. I could can I can become a hero. I could become a hero, fitting to the blood of the sword mages flowing in me. Where's her frog medallion? I don't know. It might not be in this game. I can't see out of my right eye. Parts of my body won't move, but I can manage with an artificial arm and leg. I got it. I'll get reborn into a body that knows no pain. My body and my name. I will throw away my old self. That's right. This is me. I won't deny it. It's a fact. But the sword mage's blood in my body is a fact too. Reawaken. Memories of the sword mages. It's okay. Well, what? I'm assuming those are crying sound effects. It, to me, it just sounds like she's doing her best, like, Wario slash Waluigi impression. She's just going, wah, wah, wah! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just... No problem. It's been awakened in me, the memory of the sword mages. Irene has awakened from her blood the memories of the sword mages, which... Dot, dot, dot. Where the guardian blade, the Argent Lom, in the hands of the goddess. From the future rulers, the Guardian's body was born the sword, the Argent Lom. The sword is a type of spirit response weapon that changes the user's will to battle strength. You press the power, consumes the user's spirit, so one with a strong spirit is chosen. Anastasia applied the Guardian Blade Argent Lom with the strongest of human wills, desire. <laughs> what? <laughs> wah, wah, wah! Are you really alright? One's capacity for memory simply was overloaded with information. Is she referring to herself in the third person? I agree, Blue Donna. Hey, hey, thanks. Sorry to have worried you. <laughs> She's just wah wah wahing out on us for some reason. Oh, there was a chest over here. Oops. Is there a chest in the other room? Hmm. Oh, it's just a mega berry, whatever. <laughs> the laughing made me miss menu. Oh, so that chooses not to- okay, whatever. I guess we learned how that works a little more. So it won't go off edge for the most part. There we go. Hmm. Continue onwards, I guess. Oh, as expected, family lied to me about what time they're gonna be here. That's fine, we have enough time to finish the dungeon. <laughs> it went from 2 o'clock to 1 o'clock to 12.40. And of course they'll be here at like 12.30. We'll try to finish this dungeon. What is all this nonsense? Chest, crest acquired, big berry. Not really worth it. I don't really want to use the crest user anymore. There's a crate there. Thing to do over here. Yeah, it can be really hard to make plans with them sometimes. They're so inconsistent. Oh, what do you want me to do here? Want me to blow this up? No. Hmm. 
So there's not a pillar I can zip over to. Hmm. I can't go in the water, Hellcleave, but welcome, Hellcleave. Otherwise, this would be very straightforward. Uh, uh, let me try one more thing, actually, before I go over here. Name Ray Walrein, oh no. Oh, yeah, I did see a chest over here. Is there something I can zip to? No. Wait, how do I get that other item? Is that possible? The micro step that he steps into it. I'm assuming it has to be possible to reach it from there, because there's nothing else to grab onto. I'm trying to get this item. ground beside there you mean there is no ground besides this i'm not following what you're talking about hulk leave it's literally surrounded by water i can't be a unless you mean up here i can walk up here but there there's there's no like even just touching that water down there is instant teleport i don't think you're following hulk leave anywhere where there's water i can't go there that's not worth doing Maybe this will reach. Just barely not able to do it. Oh, you, do you have to be like pixel perfect to get this? Man, that's evil. This is an evil chest. I'm pretty sure that's the only way you could do this because there's no way to zip on the other side of the room unless you could change the room dynamic somehow. Unable to open it from there. Annoying. Um. Oh, it's not something. Uh, is it something stupid like this? Dumb. <laughs> oh, like. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> We've not had to do that before, by the way. Yeah, so we, we can't touch the water at all. Like, watch what happens when we touch it. I'll just show help leave. Instant death. We're apparently very allergic to water or something. I don't really know. Yeah, we can't grapple hook these, sadly, either. Let's go this way. So, whatever that chest is, I'm not grabbing it. It seems very annoying to grab. Irina's awakened from her the blood of the memories of the Sword Mages, which was about the far distant past when Filgaya was burned by the blaze of disaster, Lord Blazer. Okay. The demon Lord Blazer who flies the scorching hellfire by thought, takes in all the wrath, sorrow, negative feelings of the people, and grows fat as a curse called God. What is this narration we're receiving? Each time the hellfire is waved, 100 wraths and 1,000 sorrows are born surpassing a new threshold. Those possessing flesh and blood consume flesh and blood to become into being. Those who consume emotions, in other words, hearts, take shape that way. They destroy beings of similar substance. Physical forms taken by spirits in the forms of similar substances also need to be cut by the spirit's blade. Target Lom could destroy Lord Blazer because both were beings of similar substance. I think Kiva made this dialogue, oh no. Ashley, concealed in you and controlled by you is Lord Blazer. By living with Lord Blazer, you're able to take on the Argot Lom, which was all dependent on your spirit, in other words, heart. Lord Blazer saw his name and he made a brand to keep Lord Blazer, the blaze of destruction burned all on a fiery blazing blaze. Pretty much. My heart. I can't feel it. It's not all clear. 
with only a vague sensation. Yes, but the equilibrium could collapse any time and lapse into an uncontrollable situation. The power to save the world and the power to destroy the world. Either way, you're on a tightrope between the two overwhelming powers. Don't ever forget this. Okay, let's zip out of here. Thank you, Rob, for stopping by. You enjoy lunch. Step in the lava, who cares? I'm assuming we're in the final door, so I'll at least do this. There's chests down there, so I'm just... Oh, of course. Camera obscured the instant death pitfall, because of course. Th thanks, instant death pitfall. You're my friend. We got Big Berry, Mini Carrot, mm. yeah, the camera angle of this game is kind of whack, not gonna lie. Actually, do I even need to do that? Let me just do this. In Gosh Acquired. Sounds like a weapon for her. We're using Basarot? I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Basilol Rod. I'm pretty sure that's not how you spell that. In chat, check the spelling of Basilard. It's in Castlevania. Which one's correct, chat? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is not how that's meant to be spelled. Let's go over this way. I will right, we'll step on the altar. I wonder if it's a veto from the Bernadette side. The suspicions have finally been cleared. I'm now confident that the blood of the Sword Mages flows within me. Please, a little more. I'd rid this body if I could die a hero. Irene has awakened from her blood the memories of the Sword Mages, which... Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be that. Or the Blaze of Disaster, Lord Blazer, who will burn the world. <laughs> See, Chad was making fun of the burning stuff, but they really do just keep repeating it over and over. The reason Anastasia couldn't completely destroy Lord Blazer, ironically, is due to the humans from the world one was to protect. Negative feelings will end the world of humans. No matter how much Anastasia brandished the power of his spirit, with only one person's heart in the face of Lord Blazer's rebirth, it was a wasted effort. His spirit? As a last resort, Anastasia, in exchange for her life, trapped Lord Blazer behind the event horizon to protect Vilgaia. But as long as negative feelings continue, the chains that bind could be released and Lord Blazer could revive, leading to a future of uncertainty. Hmm? The one who can say it with certainty is Bashley. Lord Blazer hidden in you is attempting a revival by trying to break the chains that bind. Fleeing from the event horizon and hiding your body was his first step towards resurrection. Lloyd Blazer's in my body. You have any symptoms? Instant we were caught in the Heimdall Gazo explosion. Something snapped violently inside me. That's it. Dot dot dots. Or scattling level 3 acquired. Force ability allows a variety of level 3 attacks against a single enemy. Oh. Or you teleport. Wait, but I didn't want to leave yet. Are you teleporting me out of here? I wanted to... Check some... That was rude. I gotta go back. Yeah, I want to save in here. I don't want to go to... I think we had to go to... Ba Let me write this down, because I'm not going to remember that for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to say... Hint... Go to Baskar before I forget, because I'll have to remember that between sessions. I want to check one more thing. The problem is, I don't remember where the last room was, because it rotated the camera a lot. Is the... Was this the last room? It was. Oh, 
taunting me. Stop it. Oh, I did see something. Oh, you tried to be sneaky, camera angle. You tried to be sneaky. You tried. I caught it when we were walking through here. Oh, nice try. Because I was wondering why this peg was here. And it's to do this. Also, that ca that camera angle is atrocious. <laughs> Can we all agree? Nice try. I'm like, did I see something below the post? There was. Wait, what does this do? Wait, what's the point of this room? Oh, crumble through the floor. Oh, this is a crazy hidden area. See, that was like actually good game design. I mean, the camera sucked, but I like that that was like relatively hidden. So even with the camera angle, I'm suspicious on it. Where does this take us? Oh, just back out here. Whatever. Guess we'll, guess we'll go back. We'll save in the dungeon. Oh, damn. I slipped too far. I guess that's what the point of the razor blade... Uh, excuse me, the rad blade is. So I don't slip off the edge. There we go. Yeah, so it's like, why is there a post there if you can just get it with Puka? That's what I was thinking while we are walking through. We now have a lot of duplicators, which is huge. We still have random stones, which is hilarious. Yeah, Basarod. Oh, oops. Oops to the spelling there. So anyway, sadly I gotta pause for now. So let's talk about how we feel about the game so far. Millennium Puzzle was terrible. It wasn't as bad as Diablo Pillars, but that did not need to be a dungeon. Let's just be 100% honest. That was a big time waste dungeon. I feel like the game is just kind of having puzzles for the sake of puzzles, which to me is not really... Like, the layouts of this place are just nonsense most of the time. It doesn't feel like I'm doing anything with key cards or anything else. Not the first mistranslation of the game, it won't be the last. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things where we'll, I guess we'll see where it goes over time. So, I don't know. This dungeon was okay. It was... It, it you know, for the puzzles kind of made sense for the area. The lava was pretty ineffective as a threat though. But hey, we got fast movement. So next time we're gonna give shout outs but unfortunately i'm on a bit of a time limit here so we're gonna go ahead and say goodbye to youtube so if you did watch to this point in the video of the bond I'd just like to say thanks again for watching hope to see you again next time